Hello everyone, now in this tutorial we're gonna see how to use the step and the repeat effect to create this really cool badge that you can see in here. It's a really powerful feature that does some really interesting things once you know how it works and what keyboard shortcut to use. And you go play with it in different ways to get some really interesting results. Alright, so I'm just gonna hide this for now because we're gonna start it from scratch. And the document I'm using is 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel. Alright. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, to load uh, the rulers. If you don't see the rulers on uh, your Photoshop, just go uh, to view and make sure rulers is checked or you can just use Ctrl plus R on your keyboard. And also make sure snap is checked and snap to guide layers and document bounds is checked. All right. Now I will go and drag one uh, guide in here and put it in the middle and another one like this and it should snap by itself like this all right so i would go and uh, make a, a circle in here so i will use uh, the vector shapes to, to do that so we'll go and open it and choose uh, the ellipse tool and in this gear icon just uh, open it and make sure from center is checked so this way we can uh, make a, a circle from the center in here so i'm gonna press shift and i will click and drag and as you can see it will create a perfect circle all right something like that and as you can see we have the stroke is on so we'll go in the shape details in here and i will open it and i will uh, press none this way you can uh, get rid of this uh, stroke in here all right now i want to create another circle inside this one but i will subtract it from this uh, same circle in here so this way we can have this uh, just a uh, stroke that is in a shape not a stroke so I will go and I will press Alt this time and uh, the, the same circle is still selected and I will press Alt and as you can see it will add a minus sign uh, next to this uh, plus uh, cross tape that we have in here. So when I press Alt it will add the minus sign. So this will uh, make a, a subtracted shape inside this circle. So I'm just gonna one click and drag and I will press Shift and I will keep dragging and as you can see we create it inside the same uh, circle in here and I will let go and as you can see it will cut it from the inside now we have two shapes in the same uh, layer in here so if I go and select the path selection tool I can just drag the same uh, shape that I created and put it in here and we have it cut it from here all right so uh, as you can see we have uh, two in here uh, this one is subtracted from this so I'm gonna uh, undo that all right, as you can see, we have uh, we have it in the same layer. All right, now I will go and I will make the lines uh, on the top in here using the step and the repeat effect. So we'll go and select lines, and I will make the width around uh, six pixel, and I will create uh, a line in here. Uh, this time I'm gonna press Shift. As you can see, if I press shift, it will add a plus sign this time next to this uh, cross uh, tip in here. So I'm just gonna one click, and as you can see, I'm still in the, in the same layer selected. So I'm just gonna press shift and one click and drag, and it will add it in the same uh, layer in here. And I will press this time, I will press space so I can drag my shape in here. I'm just gonna make it down a little bit around here and I will make it a little bit smaller like this and put it down like that all right as you can see we have our lines in the same uh, layer in here and let me see if it's uh, if it's in the center so I would go to this and make a line to canvas uh, checked and I will align it horizontally like this all right now I'm gonna start creating our step and repeat effect. So first uh, you need to press Ctrl Alt T and what this does it would create another copy on top of uh, this line in here. So now we have two lines when we use this uh, keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna take this middle uh, point in here and put it in the center so this way we can rotate it like this and it will still uh, head it to the center. So I'm gonna press Alt and take this point and make it down a little bit like this until it snap in the center like this 
and I will rotate it by pressing shift and I will rotate like this but I don't want it to be rotated in 15 uh, degrees in here so I'm gonna change it to 8 and I will press enter now what Photoshop does it's recorded every step that we just made so if I press checked in here I can repeat the same exact step that I just did so let me zoom out a little bit and this time I will press Control alt shift and if I press one click to the T in here it will repeat the same step that we just did earlier so I'm gonna press T one time and as you can see it will repeat it with the same space in here so uh, as long as I'm pressing the T it will create it so I'm gonna keep pressing the T like this all right and as you can see we have ourselves these lines in here in the same shape in here as you can see now uh, we have this really interesting shape that we can just uh, save as a custom shape if you want or as a uh, pattern maybe if you uh, like to use it but we still have it in uh, shapes in here so we need to merge it together so we'll go uh, to this uh, one in here to this pathfinder in here and I will merge all the shapes together and this uh, window will pop up just click yes and now we have it uh, as the same shape inside this uh, layer in here all right now we're gonna create this middle shape that we have in here like this so I will go and I will create it in a new layer this time so I can change the color of it let me just uh, uh, make this uh, into a white color by double click and choose white all right now uh, to create uh, this inside shape um, I will be using the pen tool so I will go and select the pen tool and I will make sure in here shape is uh, selected because we have different uh, option in here just make sure shape is uh, selected and I will make uh, the and the stroke none and I'm gonna start in the middle like this so I want to make a kind of triangle in here so I'm just gonna one click and by pressing shift I will one click in here all right and I will one click without pressing shift this time into this guide like this and as you can see it will create this uh, triangle like this all right now we zoom out and I'm gonna repeat the same uh, step that I did for these lines in here uh, so I will uh, first uh, select the path selection tool and I will press Control alt t and again I will take this middle point in here and put it in the center by pressing alt I will take it put it in here and I will rotate it like this and 15 it will uh, work in, uh, for this so I'm gonna press enter to commit uh, this step that I just did and now if I press ctrl alt shift again and one click to the T it will uh, repeat the same rotation again so I'm gonna keep pressing the T like this and as you can see we just created this complex shape using just a really uh, quick method uh, in Adobe Photoshop Alright, so I will go and commit uh, the merge of these uh, shapes. I will go and choose merge shape components. And as you can see, we have it as a one shape in here. And if you want to use it as a, a custom shape or a pattern, you can do that. Alright, so I'm going to double click to it and I'm going to change the color to this light uh, orange in here, like this. Alright, and I will put it under this one, like that. Alright. As you can see, we just created this really cool uh, shape uh, using just the step and repeat effect. All right, now we're gonna add uh, the text in here. So we'll go and uh, select text, and I will type step slash repeat. And uh, the text I'm using is called real prices. Uh, you will find a link in description below. You can use it if you want. Let me just uh, reduce the, the space in between this. So I'm gonna press Alt and uh, the, uh, the, the left arrow in my keyboard and I will make the space a little bit in here like that all right all right now I'm gonna press ctrl T so I can make it a little bit bigger something like so all right all 
All right, I like that. Now uh, we need to add a, a stroke uh, in uh, this uh, text in here. Let me just hide the guides a little uh, for a while in here. So I'm gonna press Control some account in here, and I will double click to this uh, text in here, and the left side will pop up, and I will go and add stroke. And I'm gonna change the color to the same background color in here, and I will make the size around 8 pixels. All right, and then we press OK, and there you go. As you can see, we created this really cool badge using just the step and the repeat in no time at all. All right, so I hope that you like and you enjoy this tutorial, and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, and you know wait for more tutorials to come. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.